I want to talk about beyond, beyond praying and fasting to fire power or greater fire power. There are people that have been called into the ministry, especially the power ministry of healing, deliverance, prophecy, and miracles, signs, and wonders. And they've be, been praying, they've been fasting, but they don't see the manifestation of the power. They don't see the manifestation of the inward grace. They don't see higher anointing. When they pray for people, they are not healed. They try to cast out demons. The demons hardly obey them. They want to see fruit in their ministry. They want to see God move in their ministry. They fasted. They've prayed. They've sowed seed. But nothing has happened in terms of manifestation. In fact, they've even begun to doubt themselves if they are actually called to the healing, prophetic, deliverance, or science and wonder power ministries. Sometimes we just call it the PAD ministry, which is prophecy, healing, deliverance, and other associated ministry of the revelatory realms. You know, when this kind of thing happens, it calls for much more than prayer and fasting. It calls for grace, for higher fire power. It calls for grace, for greater results that terminate in souls. It calls for grace to achieve greater things, exploits for the kingdom. Remember, the scripture said that they that do know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploits. So, one of the ways to know God, Apostle Paul told us, is to have faith in the power of God. He said the kingdom is not in words, but in power. He said in the last days, people, preachers, workers, ministers, evangelists, teachers, will have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. The Lord said, from such Turn away, the scripture told us. But why are we comfortable with power failure? Why are we comfortable when we pray 40 days, 21 days, fast for higher fire power, ask for higher grace, and it doesn't manifest, and we are complacent? Well, I will tell you the reason why a lot of people have even begun to doubt themselves if they are actually called. Or if they've been released after going through all the training, after going through all the serving, after going through all the courses, after attending or listening to most preachers, they are still powerless. Not because they are not children of God or they are not called. Not because they are not endowed or gifted. It's because the power is not manifesting. And the reason is because of ancestral powers, background powers. They hold people back and bound. They delay or derail giftings and destinies. In fact, sometimes even come through dream, what we call familiars or ancestral spirits of dream blockade. Sometimes we call them blockages or blockades of spiritual gifts or dream erasers or dream manipulators and they are also the demons that pollute dreams and delay manifestation of firepower they want to actually extinguish your power and when they extinguish it you lay hand nothing works you try to heal people by the grace of God nothing works you pray and fast nothing works your ministry will not be growing. There won't be explosion. Years will be going. Delays because of this strong man. Because of this enemy behind the scene. Because of these demons at play. Sometimes they program demons of lust. Which also can block your spiritual eyes. Uh, you know, or program demon of fear or hesitation. 
or they can program demon of unbelief, double-mindedness, stinking thinking, and these powers counteract the flow, manifestation, or expression of the fire of the indwelling Holy Spirit that is already given to you. Let me tell you, child of God, God's power is always available, but passive. It takes the faith switch to activate it. So if you exercise faith, exercise your kingdom dominion authority, exercise your kingdom dominion power as much as you know, but the power is not manifesting. There's no change in your ministry. There's no difference. Your deliverance is not on a higher level. That means this thing is beyond praying and fasting. I know a lot of people. They've done 21 days. They've done 40 days fasting. They've visited one preacher or the other. But nothing is happening in their life and their ministry. And they begin to doubt their call or the grace of God upon their life. Or doubt their ministry. Or doubt the gift in an endowment from on high. No. Whenever God gave you a gift, he doesn't take it back. The gifts and promises of God are irrevocable. They are without repentance. So God has given it to you. But you need to activate it. You need to release it. You need to stir it up. You need to find and kindle the power. And that's where it goes beyond praying and fasting. The greatest and best way to work in any anointing is to contact, serve under, so, or contribute. We call it partaker to the grace of that ministry, to the covering, to the special mantle, to the garment. And I will tell you why. There are different garments or prophetic mantles or cloak or graces or unction to function upon ministers who have been working in it. So the easiest way to get it is to tap it through them who are already working in it. God demonstrated it to us. Seventy elders wanted the power from Moses' leadership. Actually, Jethro gave Moses the advice uh, you know, that he needed help in the ministry. He needed help to judge the children of Israel. And that advice was taken. But God showed up. When God showed up, he said to Moses, he said, I will take the spirit upon you and then put it on the elders, 70 elders. And when he did it, the elders begin to manifest the same grace as Moses. The same thing with Joshua. The Lord imparted the spirit of wisdom to Joshua. Joshua developed wisdom that was not there before because somebody deposited the gift on Joshua, the gift of wisdom to lead, wisdom to make decisions, wisdom to discern, wisdom for higher accuracy because wisdom is decided or determined by decision. Wisdom is profitable to direct. And it's all about the power, whether it's the power of deliverance, power of prophecy, power of healing, power of miracle signs and wonder, power to make things happen is the same thing. You need the impartation of higher firepower, higher grace, higher anointing. And it doesn't come just like that. It comes through somebody who has been working in that grace already by God. It happened in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts 10.38, the Bible talks about how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He submitted himself under the ministry of John the Baptist. That was when God anointed him. John endorsed him. So the quickest and the easiest way, I call it the back door way, to walk in higher grace, to walk in higher power, is to get it from somebody who is already working in that anointing, or special anointing of grace, or special unction to function. That's where the higher power, fire power comes in. That's why it goes beyond praying and fasting. Because in the ministry of deliverance, in the prophetic, in science and wonder, in the ministry 
of special faith, of special uh, 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 miracle, unusual miracle, notable miracle, certifiable miracle. If you want that kind of ministry, if it's your calling, if it's your desire, if it's your heart cry, don't go and waste your time and your life and effort and your money doing 40 days fasting, 21 days fasting, because ancestral spirit will block it. But we can overrule, we can override, we can supersede, we can veto, we can actually go higher than these powers and they will have no, we nullify them because a higher law is in oppression, a higher firepower is in oppression. I'll give you an example. The law of gravity is there whether the plane is flying or not. But the higher law will take over the law of aer aerodynamics, the law of lift. And then the airplane will fly higher and greater with gravity suspended. So if you want to walk in this higher firepower, that's when you need importation or implantation so that God will like sell your ministry so that you walk in a higher and greater firepower higher anointing that's why this kind of impartation comes in and then you begin to do exploits for the kingdom now if it's the prophetic go to somebody who has been operating in prophetic grace if it finances don't go to a pastor who is gifted in evangelism go to a pastor who has financial anointing in that area your riches are your niches if you want healing anointing Go to somebody who has been operating in healing and getting results and has been accomplished in that area and tap that power and transfer that power. Remember, energy cannot be destroyed. It can only go from one form into the other. The same thing with anointing, unction to function. Anointing can be transmitted through the laying on of hands it can be true radiation or transduction, just like energy. So the same way power can be imparted on you. So either you give or sow into that anointing, serve under that anointing. You can also, you know, be bestowed or lay that hand of the person will be laid onto you. Or you can do all of the above. The way I started working in higher and greater firepower by grace is that any anointing I see, I sow into that anointing. I contribute so that I can partake of that anointing. Because the law of sowing and reaping is the iron law of human destiny. When you do it, God can even impart you in the dream without you seeing the man of God or without you seeing the anointing that you seek. Because the anointing you expect is the anointing you respect. So come for impartation, invest in impartation, sow into impartation, and then it will become yours. Spiritual power is amazing. For instance, Elijah imparted Elisha according to God's instruction. Actually, God actually told Elijah to anoint Elisha to take his place. But he didn't do it until he saw the hunger and the thirst and the commitment and the tenacity and the intense desire and craving of Elisha who wanted it at all costs and God released it to him. The same way if you desired the anointing you desire is the anointing you deserve and that's the anointing that come for you, come to you and that's what anointing that come through you and works for you and that's the anointing that I'm talking about. So whether it's deliverance anointing healing anointing, prophetic grace, grace for financial breakthrough, grace for wisdom, or even grace of revelation and realm, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, discernment of spirit, we will become yours. These things are not cast in stone. It can be transferred as God will have it, as God has made it, as God has demonstrated it. The same thing you can demonstrate Holy Ghost, you can demonstrate power, you can demonstrate Father. In fact, more importantly, you can transfer it and the person will begin to walk in higher grace. Let me give you an example, even that of the prophetic. Do you know when the mantle fell on Elisha from Elijah, Elisha became a seer. 
Elijah was not even a seer. He's a praying temperamental prophet. But Elisha is a seer. Well, the same thing with deliverance grace. The same thing with healing anointing. If you want to see results, if you want to see instant firepower, people tell stories. That's why most preachers are motivational speakers. Most preachers are talking head. Most preachers just talk show host. Having a form of godliness, denying the power, is the pain, the power failure in the church. So you can turn things around by higher, greater power. Your ministry will explode. Your platform will explode. You will increase. You will expand. You will be established. And God will honor himself. God bless you. Dr. Ozo. Bye-bye.